Welcome. My name is uh, Andy Cook, and I am the director of percussion here at Marquette High School and Selvage Middle School. Okay. So we're super excited to have you guys out here. Thanks again for coming. Um, this is Marquette's second annual Night of Percussion concert. It's only the second time we've done this. Um, and so a couple thank yous be, uh, as we start here. First off, I'd like to thank the other band directors, the staff here at Marquette and at Selvage. Um, this being my first year, every time I've had an idea or, hey, can I have this or anything like that, all the directors here have been super supportive, so I'd like to thank them. Uh, making tonight possible and helping out any way they can. Um, same thing, all the staff here at Selvage and Crestview helping out a bunch, so it's super appreciated. Um, I'd also like to thank out um, uh, the pit crew from marching band for all they've done or the marching band season as far as percussion. There's a ton of different equipment that needs to be moved and handled and they do an awesome job with that. So I'd like to thank them tonight. Um, I would also like to thank you guys, the parents. I know uh, when your kid was assigned percussion, you were probably very thrilled, right? Uh, to hear drums and stuff like that in your house. But so we thank you so much for uh, the commitment you guys do to your kids and support them financially. Um, and with your time, I know there's tons of rehearsals and performances and things for you to attend, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help them. Um, so our percussion program here at Marquette High School enco uh, encompasses Selvage Middle School and Crestview Middle School, as well as the students at Marquette. Uh, students here in the percussion program can take many different activities, including marching band. Uh, we just this year started a winter drum line, so the students at Marquette, many of them participate in that. Uh, we have jazz band, pep band, uh, as well as three concert bands that they are uh, auditioning into. So there's tons of different opportunities for the kids here to perform and uh, play a lot of cool music. Okay? Um, our goal, like I said, our goal is to basically give our students as many opportunities as possible to perform and to learn and to travel. Um, and so we, we like to give them a lot of opportunities to do that. Um, so again, thank you parents and uh, administration for allowing us to use this facility here and um, supporting us with all these instruments here that you see in front of you, okay? So, I would like to first call up the Symphonic Band Percussion Ensemble for Ancient Voices. So the first, uh, first song you're gonna hear tonight is performed by our Symphonic Band. That is one of our three bands that we have here at Marquette. Uh, the students you see before you that are walking up uh, recently uh, performed this piece in a couple of different competitions, okay? They first performed at Parkway Central back in March and they played for a judge at a thing called Solo Ensemble Festival, and they got the top rating, or sorry, they got the second rating here, uh, the outstanding rating, okay? Um, all the equipment in front of them, they moved it, and they moved all that equipment themselves. Uh, they've been practicing this piece for a long time. Uh, so the first song we're gonna perform for you tonight is performed by Kai uh, Bielmer, Isabel Chong, Jackson Klutz, Celeste Marino, and Allison Sanders. So this is Ancient Voices, Distant Storms.
So the next group that can come up is the concert band Scamper Percussion Ensemble. You guys can start moving things and getting set up. Okay. All right. So again, you'll notice tonight there's a lot of equipment on stage. So there's going to be some times where kids are going to be moving a few things uh, from one ensemble to the next. So as this group is setting up, I'm going to talk a little bit about this next piece that you're going to hear. Uh, so the next group is called Scamper by Jared Spears. Uh, this is performed by many of our uh, members from the concert band percussion, uh, percussion group. And this is uh, going to be performed by Owen Edgerton, Tommy Holt, Tyler Shearler, Archie Ramsey, and Houston Wheeler. Okay? Uh, the song, like I said, is performed by members of our concert band. The song features all non-pitched percussion. So as you'll see, there's many different forms of instruments you'll see on stage. Those that change pitch are called pitch percussion instruments. Those are things like marimba, xylophone, bells. Okay? Uh, this ensemble is mainly going to be instruments that do not change pitch. So things like drums, cymbals, things like that. Um, it features uh, timpani, tom, snare drum, bass drum, triangle, woodblock, and suspended cymbals. Uh, all the performers that you're going to see in this ensemble are either freshmen or sophomores. So it's a really young group. Uh, they've grown a ton performing on this, and I'm really proud of the growth they made. Um, the composer of the piece, uh, Jared Spears, actually has local ties. Uh, he taught at Arkansas State University in Arkansas, and has composed many... Uh, percussion ensemble pieces, many concert band pieces. Um, he actually resides in Chesterfield, Missouri. So he's a local, uh, local composer. And um, this is going to be Scamper. And um, hope you enjoy it.
Hello? Oh, there we go. All right, sixth grade, you guys are going to come up from Salvage. Okay. So again, with this being our second annual night of percussion, our first one went so well, we decided why not bring our middle school people, right? So tonight, not only will you be seeing uh, performers from Marquette High School, but you'll also be seeing many of our Salvage and Crestview friends. Okay. So next up is our sixth grade percussion group. And they have only been playing their instruments, right, since September, I believe. So I think many of you guys are going to be blown away in the progress they've made in only a few months. Uh, like I said, it's crazy to me. I, they've only been playing a few months. They've had one band concert. So it's super cool. Um, like I said, this is our sixth grade Selvage Middle School percussion group. This is the first percussion ensemble this group has ever played. So percussion ensembles, right, are different than our normal band pieces in that they only feature percussion instruments, okay? There was no flutes, no trumpets, any of that. It's only percussion. So this is the first time any of these people behind me have ever done this. Um, along with performing tonight at our night of percussion concert, these students will also have another band concert on Thursday, because we're not busy enough, right? So they're going to have a concert on Thursday where they're going to be playing with the 7th and 8th grade bands. Uh, and then also later, some of them may play a Cardinal game. We're going to be taking our 7th and 8th grade and some of our 6th graders to the Cardinal game on May 17th, I believe. I think that's right. May 17th. So if you want to buy tickets to that, check your email if you are a salvage parent. We should have sent that to you, so you check that. Um, we've also given some forms, so ask your students if they have received those. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be featuring our 6th graders, which will be Elaine Mabry. Deja Daly, Tristan Donegan, Grace Hager, Matt Harbour, Hayden Popple, Lauren Pennington, Nicole Rava, and Ethan Squires. Hope you enjoy. This is Crazy Dance.
cool. So that was our sixth grade percussion group. Next up is Tetra Current. So if you guys want to head on up. Yeah. All right, so Tetra Current, this next group is another one of our percussion ensembles that just recently competed at two different events for uh, their percussion ensemble. Uh, back in March, March 11th, they went to Parkway Central High School and they went in front of a judge and he gave them a rating based on how they performed and they achieved the highest rating you could possibly get. And so as a result, they were eligible to get. And so they got the highest score they could possibly get, which enabled them to be qualified to go to state in Columbia, Missouri. So this past Saturday, all of these students gave up their Saturday and traveled an hour and a half to Columbia. They were there basically the whole day, they got free pizza, so that's how we bribed them, okay? Um, and they also, they did a great job. They got an outstanding rating as well at the uh, state festival. So um, it was a huge accomplishment for them to all, raise your hand if you're in this group and this is the first time you've played in a percussion ensemble. All of them, right? Okay. So this is the first time all of them did it. So they're one for one. I tell them to go in state towards the school. Um, so yeah, this is a marimba quartet or quintet. And so it is a quartet, yes. And it is only... You're gonna notice four, three different marimbas. Okay, you're gonna have two people sharing one marimba. And a special shout out I would like to give to Keith Franklin, uh, who drove our trailer to uh, Parkway Central to load all this equipment. So that was a big help, he drove our trailer. Okay, all right, so this is Tetra Kurt by Chad Floyd. Thank you. 
All right, so our next performance is also going to be performed by Allison Sanders. Now she's going down there. Uh, so not only did Allison perform in uh, two different percussion ensembles with our symphonic band, but um, I asked the students at the beginning of the semester if whoever wanted to could also try not only uh, competing in a ensemble with other people, but you can also have the option to play in a solo. So Allison is one of two of our uh, members who decided to learn a solo all on her own. So she had to pretty much do this outside of class time. So this is all on her and she learned it. Um, and as, uh, she performed this as well at the district uh, festival on March 11th and earned the uh, outstanding rating, which is the second best rating you can get, which for a freshman, uh, someone who's never done a solo, is really cool. Um, so she is gonna be performing a piece called Feeling Better by Yvonne Trevino. Um, Allison is a freshman percussionist who uh, has been active in our marching band. Uh, she's been in our drum line, our winter drum line this year. She's in the symphonic band and also performs with our percussion ensembles. So she's already very active in our percussion section. Um, this is the first solo that Allison has ever competed with at um, a festival. So she did a terrific job. So this is whenever she's ready, she's gonna play Feeling Better. Also, I don't know if you could tell because she had a music stand up here, but there's no music, so she had that memorized. Just like point out. <laughs> All right, so our next group that is going to be coming up is the Selvage Seventh Grade Percussion. So this is going—they're going to be forming a piece called the Funky Fugue for Five. So if any of you know what a fugue is, right? So sing, row, row, row your boat. 
singing it around. So that's the idea of this percussion ensemble, is they're going to be playing a kind of a percussion melody that is moved between different performers. So um, this is our seventh grade percussion group. Um, they are going to also be playing at Thursday on the uh, seventh grade band concert. And they're also going to be playing uh, May 17th at the Cardinal game, along with our eighth graders. Um, they are, uh, again, this is the first percussion ensemble this group has learned. They've only been working on this for a few short weeks, I think. And so they've done a great job. Um, and so this is all non-percussion uh, instruments. You're gonna have snare drum, toms, timpani, uh, and then also more toms. So a lot of drums on this one, okay? So this will be our seventh grade percussion. I'm gonna help them finish setting up, and then we'll get started.
All right, our next performance is going to be another soloist. Jay, come on up. Okay. So again, we had two soloists that played this year. Our first one was Allison Sanders, who played a marimba solo. The next solo is going to be on the snare drum. Okay. So Jake performed this solo on March 11th, also at Parkway Central at the District Solo Ensemble Festival. He received the second highest rating, which is outstanding rating. So again, as a freshman, this is the first time he has done a snare solo. Um, Jake, again, is a freshman percussionist who has been also active in our marching band. He also participated in the winter drum line and are, is in the wind ensemble for our concert band. Uh, Jake was the only snare drummer on our drum line this past season, so he did a terrific job with that. And this is the first solo that he's performed. So he's going to perform two different uh, pieces for you. So the first one uh, is in the program, and the second one, Gladstone Cadets, John S. Pratt. So it'll be a two movement snare drum solo. I'm going to help him out. I'll be here in just a second.
Next up will be our Crestview portion of the concert. So if you're a Crestview student, then come on up and I'll let you give you some time to move some equipment. All right, so again, this is also, like I said, our first time inviting middle school students to participate in this. Not only is Selvage uh, performing this year, but also we're gonna have Crestview. And they have been working on two different octets, I believe. And um, they are going to be performing two songs for you. The first one is called Day Spring by Chad Floyd. And that one, you're gonna notice a lot of uh, motives, again, that pass around from instrument to instrument. So there'll be one clear pattern that is moved between different instruments. The second song, a uh, very cool title, The Final Boss, is inspired by the final level of a video game. So it's gonna be, you're gonna hear some, you know, elements of that type of song. So I'm gonna give them a few moments to get set up here, and we're gonna hear the two songs. After our Crestview 2 uh, eighth grade performances, we're gonna hear the eighth graders from Salvage. They're gonna play one piece as well, and then we'll conclude our concert with the wind ensemble be performing their percussion ensemble. So I'm gonna help these guys move for a second, and we'll perform in a second.
All right, next up is our Salvage eighth grade trio. Come on up. All right, so the next of these students are going to be playing a piece for a one marimba. They're all going to be sharing the same instrument, and they're going to be playing different parts on the same instrument, okay? And so this uh, piece is going to be performed by Logan Eckert, Bryce Sequoy, and Alex Underhill. It's performed by our eighth graders over at Salvage. And they are going to be, again, this is the first time they've done a percussion ensemble. We actually just started this a few weeks ago. So they've learned it super quick, so that was awesome to see. Um, this song is actually performed, it's written for usually percussionists who have about three to five years of experience. So they're on the very low end of that in the years they've played percussion. So the fact they're able to play this is really cool. This is normally performed by freshmen, sophomores in high school, and as eighth graders they're gonna be playing it. Um, again, these students are gonna be playing at the Cardinal game on the 17th of May. Uh, if you guys would like to go see them, that is going to be that day of the Brewers. Um, and that is going to be our last performance before the one ensemble. So I'm going to go ahead and let them get set up, and then we'll have our eighth graders.
All right, we're gonna have one last performance, and they're gonna, while they're setting up, I'm going to give out a few of the uh, awards that we've had from the different uh, performances I said. So they're gonna be setting up their ensemble there in the back. Okay. So like I said, there's a lot of students who have been playing um, different ensembles that have gone to competitions. Okay. And so tonight, I'm going to be passing out the uh, certificates for those. Okay. So I'm gonna have certificates for people who have participated in ensembles and our soloists that you've seen tonight. Okay. So as I say your name, come on up, and I'm going to pass out your certificate from the district or state. So the first ensemble is Ancient Voices. Come on up. And I have a certificate for Kai first, Isabel, Jackson, Celeste, and Allison. Come on up. that you heard, and the other second ensemble heard many of the same people, okay? So this is for Tetracurrent, and they have a lot of certificates because they perform both at the district level and state level. So again, these are students who went to Columbia, Missouri, and so they are not only going to get a certificate for their district performance, but also for their state performances. Um, so again, this is for Kai, Jackson, Allison, and Celeste for Tetracurrent. solos then since we have a lot of our other ensemble setting up. So I have solo certificates for Allison Sanders and Jake. Come on up. certificates I have, I'll hand out to them after the concert today because they're setting up for their performance, but I also have certificates both for the district and state level for the Pentatonic, which is the last group that you're going to be hearing uh, for the, their state and district. So I'll hold on to those. Okay. All right. So the very last group you're going to hear tonight uh, is members of our um, one ensemble. So this is the top group at Marquette. These students have auditioned and been placed in the highest band that they could possibly be in as percussionists. Um, so the percussion ensemble behind me is five of those percussionists. We have Tanner Bedell, Jack Krebs, Dominic Lund, Dylan Sledge, and Emma Traxler. So these are all students, again, who gave up their Saturday last Saturday, went up to Columbia, and performed at the, not only the district level at Parkway Central in March, but also at Columbia and at the state level. Um, so this is um, the, our win ensemble group, and many of these kids also, way back in January, had the honor of, as many of you know, playing at the State Music Educators Conference. And so only a certain amount of uh, bands are selected. And Marquette One Ensemble is one of those bands. So all these students and a few of the symphonic band students were able to participate in that. So that was a huge, huge honor um, and something that not many band kids get to do. And the last thing I want to make sure I do before I forget, um, since this is our last performance, is acknowledge our percussion seniors. So if, as I say your, say your name, please wave, raise your hand. Uh, so our first senior is Tanner Bedell. Our second senior percussionist is Jack Krebs. And our final percussion senior is Emma Traxler. And so these are students who have given four, five, six, seven years of um, time to the band programs at Salvage Crestview and Marquette. And so we appreciate everything they've done for the bands um, and all the growth they've made and hope you enjoyed their last percussion performance. Yeah, this is Pentatonic with Seven by Chris Crockerell.
so that concludes our performances. Thank you so much again for attending. Well, how about give your hands to all the students that performed tonight. So that is all we have for you tonight. Thank you so much for coming. Have a good night.